Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are making the perfect seafood boil with a juicy dipping sauce. Here on the side of the screen is a list of all the ingredients that I'll be using. First, I'm gonna start off by making my seafood mixture for my boil and my dipping sauce. You're gonna see me make one bowl, but I also have another bowl sent to the side. So let's get started. In a small bowl, I've added in some chili powder. Next is lemon pepper, paprika, Cajun seasoning, onion powder, Creole seasoning, accent, black pepper, and cayenne pepper. Stir in the seasonings until everything is thoroughly combined. Let's start creating the seafood dipping sauce. Here is a list of ingredients that I'll be using in the sauce. Add three sticks of butter to a cast iron skillet over a medium heat. Stir the butter until it's completely melted. Now that our butter is melted, we're going to add in our sliced onions and celery and give it a quick mix. Next, we're going to add in our garlic and green onions along with our bay leaves. Then add in your seasoning mixture and mix it in with the rest of your ingredients and let it cook down for about 10 minutes. Now you should be ready to add in the lemon juice and chili peppers and continue to let it cook down for another 10 minutes.
As you can see, our dipping sauce is complete, so let's start working on our seafood boil. In a large pot, fill it up halfway with water and then add in your seasonings. I've already cut up my red potatoes, onions, and lemons to speed up the process. So now I'm going to start adding in my ingredients. I'm going to start by adding in lemons, onions, red potatoes, sausages, corn, and eggs. Bring everything to a boil and let it cook for about 15 minutes. Our water is boiling and now it's time to drop in the lobster and let them cook until they turn an orangish reddish color. Next, we're going to add in the snow crabs. If you don't have enough room in your pot, then how about you just rearrange or remove some of your potatoes, corn, or even your eggs to place in your snow crabs. I have a fairly large pot that I'm doing my seafood boil in. And even with all of the ingredients that I've already added into my pot, I still have some more ingredients to add to my boil. But I don't have enough room, so I'm going to have to remove some of my ingredients to add in new ingredients.
hey if you're watching this video and you like what you see go over there and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already tap the notification bell give me a thumbs up and comment and let me know how you create your seafood bowl in the comment box below After removing some of the potatoes and corn, I still don't have enough room. So I'm going to remove some of the liquid from my boil before adding in my other ingredients. Now I'm ready to add in my last ingredient. Drum roll, please. Now I'm adding in my shrimp. And it only takes a few minutes for the shrimp to boil. I'm pushing my shrimp under the water to make sure that it cooks evenly. It only takes the shrimp about two or three minutes to finish cooking. That's why during a seafood boil, the shrimp is always added last. Here, here I have my dipping sauce and it's sitting on top of a clean trash bag, never been used, that I've cut out and set on top of my table. So now I'm going to add the seafood on top of this clean trash bag and then I'll be ready to eat. This setup looks delicious. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit your notification bell and share my channel with everybody in your contacts. Bye.